Hi, I'm Dr. Mike Morrison, and I'm passionate about making STEM communication better. As part of my PhD research, for the last four years, I've started a revolution with hashtag BetterPoster, using research to improve professional scientists' research posters. And now I'm working with Youth Science Canada to apply what I've learned to youth STEM projects. This research will help you communicate your discoveries and innovations more clearly. This is a revolution in STEM communication, and we want you to be a part of it. So you finished your project, and you were selected for the Canada-wide Science Fair. Congratulations! And now you need to design your CWSF display. This is your chance to show everyone your discovery or your innovation. You've no doubt put a lot of work in, and you should be proud of your results. And now it's time to tell the world. But that doesn't mean everything you did should go on your display. Let me explain. When you're planning your display, you might think you have to show everything you did and that somehow the amount of information shows how hard you worked or how smart you are. I'm sure there's a lot of great information on this display and the finalists worked really hard to create it, but it's impossible to learn anything about the project at a glance or to understand the key findings. The problem is that people looking at projects can only process so much information at a time. In psychology terms, when you add something to your backboard, you increase cognitive load. And adding too many things can create cognitive overload. Even judges and experts get overwhelmed by too much content on a display. And if your poster is overwhelming, it can make people less likely to want to approach it. Everything you add to your display competes with everything else. If you have a graph on your backboard and want to add more text, you have to make the graph smaller, which means people might not clearly see the graph. A great display gives just enough information without overwhelming the viewer. So here are some tips on helping judges and visitors easily understand and remember your project. Start by writing a takeaway statement for your project. This is different from your title, which will be on your header. Teach people the main thing you want them to remember. Like, construction paper airplanes fly 64% further than paper airplanes made of other types of paper. And make this finding really big so people can read it even from far away. Then add a picture to it to help people understand and remember your takeaway. Now you've created what's called the hero area of your poster, the main takeaway statement with a big image. Including this in your display design helps people quickly learn something about your project and the associated image helps cement that concept or theme in their minds. Here are another couple examples of a good hero area. It can be hard to put text on top of a picture and keep it readable, but these students did a good job of making the picture dark enough to see the text. Here's the full template we've come up with, which you can download and use as a guide. You should definitely change the images, the colors, the font to something that matches your project. Even the size and the placement of the content boxes is flexible. Change them as you need to. This template is just a starting point. It's important for you to make it your own. Here's an example of what it could look like once you make it your own. It's all about telling a story and sharing information clearly in a way that's easy to understand. And stories have some main parts. Why? How? What? So what? For each of these, try to use images, takeaways, and bullet points to tell your story. For why, why did you want to do this project? How did your project story start? What inspired you to do this project? This part is about the interesting, emotional, relevant hook to help people understand what motivated you to do your project. So it motivates them to be interested in it. In our example, because paper airplanes are a classic toy people make, it made us wonder, does the paper the planes are made with affect their flight? Use this section to explain why this project is important to you and others. For how, how did you do your project? You don't need to list every step, just the important ones. We tested these different papers and controlled variables by. If you need to add more detail, include some bullet points that are easy to skim from a distance. Images can also be really useful to illustrate your steps. Using images and bullet points, you can highlight the key stages of your project. Just remember to cite any images you use somewhere, even the photos you took yourself. You don't have to include every last detail because judges and visitors can always ask questions and you can give them the information in person. What? This is where you talk about your results. What was the outcome of your discovery or innovation? And how does the data you gathered show this? This is where you can use graphs, tables, and other figures with bullet points instead of large blocks of text to show important results. Remember, this template is just a starting point. If you need more space to include more graphs, or you want to adjust the layout or size of the sections to better suit your project, definitely do that. Make the poster your own. Just always ask yourself as you're including any information, is it easy to read? Maybe bold it, make the sentences larger font with some smaller font bullet points underneath. Is it the most important information or data from my project? If it is, great, include it. If it isn't, it should go somewhere in your logbook and judges can see it there. So what? This is where you sum up why your results are important. What do they mean? What implications do your results have? Why does what you found matter? And finally, to conclude your project story, what's next? 
This is where you share how you could extend your project, things you might do differently next time, and how your project could make an impact on a larger scale. Okay, one last thing. Be sure to include your references, like where you got your information, and thank people who helped you. Could be a mentor, your teacher, or a parent. While it is important to include these, they can be kept really small, small font in the corner or bottom of your display. And that's how you can make your CWSF display more eye-catching and more effective at making people quickly understand your project. Make the big statement message clear, use a few large images and graphs, keep the amount of text small but make the font size as large as possible. Even from a distance, the viewer should be able to read the important information. Remember, while following this display template, you should still be creative with your display. Feel free to have fun with your poster and make it your own. Judges get tired of seeing the same style of displays over and over again and really appreciate creativity. Change up the colors, background photos, section sizes, use fun icons for the bullet points, whatever you want. We can't wait to see what you come up with. Share your project displays with us on social media at hashtag BetterStemPoster.